A fortune teller once told George Eberhardt he would live to be 120. And while he's not there yet, at the age of 107, he still enjoys a night on the town. Um, I attribute uh, my position in, in, in life and as to my uh, uh, wife, who was uh, uh, unusually young as a f first marriage. Uh, she was only 18. And, and now she's more than 19. <laughs> <laughs> he may attribute his long life to Maria, his wife of 70 years. But scientists think there's more to the story. Eberhardt will be one of 100 centenarians to take part in a project that hopes to begin to answer the question of why some people live so long. The XPRIZE Foundation, better known for its space flight competition, is offering a $10 million prize to the researchers who decipher the complete DNA code from 100 centenarians. Genes are playing a really important role in these, uh, in these individuals. And that the influence of those genes becomes stronger and stronger at the most extreme ages. And we think our best bet at discovering these protective genes is going to be looking at the oldest subjects. The foundation hopes the technology developed by the competition can begin an era of personalized medicine where doctors can concentrate on preventing diseases and not just treating them. And when we have an individual genetic map so we know how individuals will react to certain therapies or what diseases they might be susceptible to, we can uh, find ways to prevent disease. Eberhardt quit playing tennis at the age of 94, but he keeps busy. He recently got a call from one of his old employers, and he thinks they may want him to come back to work. David Martin, The Associated Press, New York.